episode of Chewing the Brew. Today I'm going to be drinking a bottle I've had in my fridge uh, three months now. The Pesh Mode. Yes, that's a pun. If you don't get it, uh, goth music from the late 90s, I think. Depeche Mode. So, yeah. <laughs> I was, I worked in the computer service department at Fry's Electronics, which is a very large, or was, a very large electronics retailer at their Sacramento store. And uh, I was really fortunate to get into their service department early on in my time there. I only spent six weeks or so maybe in the, the front counter. Like they, they, they start all their clerks there anyways. Um, there was a, a lady who worked in the service department. I can't remember her name, real friendly lady. Um, but she had kind of a, a gothy vibe, and uh, she she was probably in her 30s back then. I was younger, obviously, and uh, she she meant one of her favorite bands was Depeche Mode, and uh, I think I've listened to them a couple times, not very much, but uh, because of her, I got this pun right away. <laughs> Anyways, so this is another of the Double Mountain Brews. Um, they've shown they're quite skilled at the at the wild ale and kind of the, the funky ales too so that's nice um wild ales belgian styles those are all very typically funky so looking forward to this this is specifically a belgian style sour ale brewed with peaches uh, so sometimes you'll have a beer that the 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 adjuncts adjunct is everything other than the yeast, water, malt, and hops that make up the beer. Everything else, any fruits, any spices, anything else, those are all adjuncts, additives, things added to that are not part of the standard beer recipe. Um, a lot of times, the depending on where you add them in the brewing process, they'll have different impacts. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. I expect this will be quite tasty. Um, specifically sour ales, so Belgian style, style sour ales, I mean, technically a Saison is sour, though I would I would probably find them more wine-like than sour. Um, you know, like a, a Ghost is a very sour beer, very much more sour than a Saison. Oh, sorry, Gosa, I need to remember that. Gosa is a sour beer, very much more sour than a Saison. So I'd assume they're modeling this based on a Saison but if that is the case, then I wouldn't expect it to be particularly sour. And this is a 2016. So once again, this is a six-year-old beer. It was aged for nine months on local Hood River peaches, our special house yeast, and Spartanomyces. Uh, so yeah, I'm expecting this to be quite an interesting and very nice summer beer. Let's uh, crack it open and see. Oh, that was odd. Actually, there's nothing cracked there because that would really kind of suck. No, I guess that was just the seal. Hmm. Smells boozy. It is 8.7 alcohol by volume and only eight bittering units uh, to begin with. So that is when they put it in the bottle. It's now six years later. So <laughs> we'll see what it's done to that. Okay, so it's definitely been filtered. It's quite clear. The head is a lot like a cider, uh, so kind of loose, mostly bigger bubbles, and it dissipated pretty quickly. The color is not unlike a cider either. It definitely to the to the red side of um, straw to light honey, maybe. Um, it's still bubbling. That's kind of nice. You smell some tartness. The peachiness is is subtle and on the dry side. It smells fresh. It smells cold. Probably could have done to get this out half an hour ago. Wonder how it'll open up as it warms. I would imagine the that when it's colder, the tartness is going to be more prominent, and as it warms, the peachiness peachiness or underlying sweetness might come through more is what I would expect just based on how things work. You 
getting a hint of like a, a rocky stream. It smells good. It does smell tart. So I'll, I'll give them that. It smells like it's going to have a little bit of a bite to it. A slight acidity, like uh, an acetic acid in the vinegar. That's interesting. I don't know if that's just my, my nose interpreting the, the peach notes or what. Hmm. Yeah, and there's definitely a kind of a, a boozy character to it as well. Um, so I'd expect it's it's probably a bit more than the 8.7% uh, it was when it went in. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so yes, it's a sour. But yeah, it's closer to the Saison side of sour than a Gosa side of sour. It's, it's, it's got a, a nice moderate tartness to it. Let me put it that way. It doesn't taste thick like I would expect. Like I would expect a peach puree or something like that to taste. There is a peachiness to it, but it's. Um, I mean, it's, it's not like super subtle, like, you know, what are those those seltzer waters that are, you know, in a room where a lemon sneezed, kind of subtle hints of flavor. It's There's peachiness to it, and it's a pleasant peachiness. It's a nice peachiness. It does not taste artificial. Um, it tastes bright and, and fresh, but it's really subtle. Like, there's not a whole lot to the peachiness. It's you know when you bite into like a fresh peach from from a tree and you have the taste of the peach peel and it's kind of furry um, and and a lot more subtle with maybe some earthier woodiness to it that's more the peach I'm getting here where it's not like all the way you know dripping juice ripe and there's there's a lot of fuzzy peel in there so it's definitely it's a real peach it's just a, it's kind of a more more earthy and woody side of the peachiness. And then there's a very distinct maltiness, which I didn't expect, especially in a sour beer. I expect the sourness, the tartness to kind of overwhelm the maltiness, but this has a distinct kind of second act maltiness that continues with kind of the, the, the peach peel uh, woodiness there earthiness and and it provides a very interesting kind of counterpoint so you get this this bright but not biting tart uh, just barely ripe peach opening and then it fades pretty quickly two to three seconds maybe into this uh, malty earthy peachiness it's much more kind of subdued and then it's mostly gone there there is a little hint lingering hint of peachiness but if anything, the most dominant note as I swallow is this boozy warmth. And that's that's down in the throat. Not kind of, not like, you know, through my mouth. That's that's really interesting. That's really tasty. Um, <laughs> might be a bit strong for the hottest days of the year. I would probably stick to something a little bit uh, lighter if I was trying to cool off. Uh, but this is certainly a very interesting exploration of what a what peaches in a Belgian sour um, or Belgian style sour, I guess, um, can do. That's that's quite tasty. I like that quite a lot, especially if it's been left alone for six years. <laughs> Anyways, this has been Double Mountains. Pesh Mode, Belgian style sour ale brewed with peaches. And I will catch all y'all on the flip side.